In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fade video in like this, and then fade it to black near the end of any clip. This can be accomplished using the opacity setting. However, keyframes are required because of the way that the opacity setting works. Let's get started. Open Video Leap and tap the plus sign to add your media. I'm going to use one of the free images I found on pixabay.com. I'll load in my clip. Once it's loaded, I'll tap the clip so that it's selected like this, and then select Opacity. After tapping on it, I'll bring the opacity down from 100 to 0. And as you can see, the clip fades to black. However, changes in the opacity settings are applied to the entire clip. If I bring it back up to 100, you can see the clip once more. But if I scrub back to the beginning of the clip, you'll notice that the beginning is also at 100%. This is why keyframes are necessary. The first thing I have to do is pull the opacity down to zero at the beginning of the clip and then tap the keyframe marker to set the first keyframe. Then I'll play the clip for a bit, bring the opacity back up to 100, and a keyframe will be automatically set. Now I'll play the clip to the end. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'll need to scrub back a bit to find the exact point where I want the fade out to begin and add my third keyframe. This sets the opacity at 100%. Then I'll go directly to the very end of the clip and bring the opacity down to zero. A keyframe will be automatically added. Now watch what happens as I scrub backwards. The clip fades in, and as I play it forward, it fades out properly. I'm going to tap the replay icon to play the entire clip once more. There we see the fade in, and when the clip reaches the end, we'll see a proper fade out, like you saw in the beginning of the video. The clip will start to fade out as it passes over the third keyframe. Watch the slider go down. Now I'll tap on export, set the resolution, and tap on save to save the video to my camera roll. The export will take a few minutes depending on the length of your video. Don't interrupt it at any point or you'll have to do it again. The export has now finished. Thanks so much for watching.